Today, the Cavaliers open their upcoming schedule of 23 consecutive game days in Orleans, hoping to come out on top in their second straight game against the Firebirds. Kotuit got off to a hot start in the first, loading the bases on two singles and an error, and getting their first run across the plate on a single by newcomer Mason McCorder, and their second on a hard-hit ground ball by Oraj Anu to the Orleans first baseman, who could only field the ball for an out at first. Kotuit kept their momentum going in the second, as Nick Gonzalez knocked a triple down the first base line to the right field corner, and Cody Pasek would score on that to make it 3-0. However, Kotuit got into a bases-loaded jam in the bottom of the second, and Orleans' Eddie McCabe would hit a single off the pitcher Sean Sullivan's foot, which would trickle right between the first and second baseman to allow two Firebird base runners to score. Jason Zamora would poke a single to opposite field later in the inning to drive in another, and even the game up at 3-3. Three three. Orleans would get even more back in the fifth, starting the frame with one run off a double that Eddie McCabe poked down the right field line just past the outstretched glove of first baseman McHorter. Jordan Lala would then bunt a ball back to reliever Chris Farrell, but Farrell couldn't keep it in his glove, so no play was made and another Firebird scored. Up next, Zach Britton would hit a single to score the third run of the inning and give Orleans a 6-3 lead. Orleans would add another run in the fifth, but the Cavaliers would not take this sitting down, Kotuit got the bases loaded in the sixth for Nick Gonzalez, who chopped a single to the third baseman that went slow and high enough that a run could cross the plate while the putout was made at first. Christian Robinson followed that up with a single right off the Orleans pitcher's leg, causing the ball to come to a stop in the infield and allowing Kotuit to add another run and make it only 7-5 Orleans. Orleans added one more off a sack fly in the seventh to go up 8-5, but a sack fly to the right fielder by Christian Robinson in the 8th would bring Cody Pasek home to make it 8-6. However, Orleans would put the nail in the coffin in the bottom of the 8th with a single by Max Troiani to make it 9-6 and another by Raymond Gill to make it 10. Kotuit fans went home especially sour after Joey Loperfito skied a ball to deep left that looked like a home run, but left fielder Zach Daniel stood up on his tiptoes to rob Loperfito for the final out of the game. Orleans took the 10-6 win in this one, but Kotuit looks to bounce back tomorrow with a tough matchup against the Western Division leading Wareham Gateman at Lowell Park. Sending you to our post-game interview with Coach Roberts and signing off for the Kotuit Cavaliers. I'm Jacob Cohen. Okay, Coach, you've been a little critical of the defense all season long. Um, another three errors today in this ball game. Um, for them to get over that hump to start playing better D, is that a mental hurdle or is it something that you have to preach? I don't know. I, would, I haven't been critical. I would not use that word. I've been honest <laughs> that we have not played very good defense, and I think that would um, anybody observing uh, would look at it that way. And you never, you can't, you know, you can't drive in as many runs as you give up. So, uh, yeah, our defense has struggled um, in lots of ways. I, I wish I could tell you why. Each one of these guys plays every day at school and they're good enough to play quality defense, but up to this point as a team, uh, we have not done very well. So I guess we're fortunate to be in the position we are really to be as, have the record we've got right now when you're not, when you're when you're struggling in, with your infield defense, then that always creates problems. Uh, today starts a brutal 23 game stretch for you, no days off. Uh, what are you telling to the guys uh, to stay positive, stay physically well during this hard stretch? Well, compete. I mean, there's really only one word. Come to ballpark every day and compete. I mean, that's what we do this for is to play and to get better. And, and uh, I don't have a problem with 23 days in a row. I, you know, I, I really think it tells you a lot about every player uh, on each team. Um, and all, all of these guys say they want to play pro baseball. So if you really want to play professional baseball, you know, and I'm around it all the time with the Cubs, you got to love to play every day. And that's part of uh, professional baseball, without a doubt. So, uh, you know, professional baseball is not like Omaha in the College World Series and you play once every three days. You know, you, you, you got to light it up every night. It'll be fun. You know, we'll just play the 23 days in a row and, and add it up at the end and see how we do.